President, your 745 appointment, James Kingston, Scout, and Sergeant O'Rourke, 5th Army Corps, Territory of New Mexico. Good evening, gentlemen. Have you enjoyed your trip to Washington? Well, sir, after the tension of the war, it's a little unnatural being able to relax. Yes, yes, I've been trying to get used to it myself. <laughs> I could have written each of you a letter, but I brought you here on this long journey because I wanted to present one of my problems personally. Well, incidentally, I've had a rather thorough investigation made of each of you. Three years with Crook's Army, Mr. Kingston, on the Indian frontier? Yes, sir. Apaches? Morning, noon, and night, sir. And you're an active cattleman in Texas before the war, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Born right on the range. I know cattle better than people, sir. <laughs> I want you to help me. Us, sir? How can we possibly help? Gentlemen, trade must be quickly resumed between the states. Meat is so scarce and so high that people in the north can't afford it. While in Texas there are thousands and thousands of cattle waiting to be sold in northern markets. I want that cattle to start moving north at once. <laughs> I know the obstacles. The lawless elements still bent in keeping the Union apart. And I know about the thousand miles of dangerous desert country between Texas and Abilene, Kansas. But wouldn't you say it's kind of foolish for people to be starving in a land of plenty with only a thousand miles between them? Well, yes, sir, but with them Apaches still stirring up trouble, it'd take an army to bring them cattle up from Texas. You'll have an army to help you. You can start using the sanitary soldiers right away. That might do it. I know that country very well, sir. We could come through Texas near the lower southeast border of New Mexico, right up to San Arturo. San Arturo could be the halfway station, and from there into Kansas. And with the soldiers along to give us protection, we could... Make it? Yes, sir. If anybody can. Good. Mr. President, your 8 o'clock appointment. Major McGuire. This is my second meeting with Major McGuire today. We spent a very pleasant hour together this afternoon. This is James Kingston. Sergeant Tim O'Rourke, both attached to the Union Army. This is Major Donald McGuire, just released from the uh, Confederate Army. The Confederate Army? And he's most welcome here. We have our long-wished-for peace at last. There's no malice in my heart for those who acted with the courage of their convictions. We want their full support in the future. 
Mr. President, we Southerners were badly hurt. We trust in God for a United States once again. Amen to that. From now on, we must all work together. This nation must survive. Major McGuire was born in Texas. He knows the situation. He wants to help. I believe he can move around Texas with more freedom than either of you. Well, I'm from Texas, sir. You're from Texas as of four years ago. And your name is only Timothy. But they tell me they call a major Tex. Is that right? That's right, sir. That makes a difference. A major Tex had as hard a job coming here today, meeting and talking to me, as you're going to have getting the cattle through. But he came here. He made it. I believe we're very fortunate to have his assistance. Sir, I followed Robert E. Lee in the war. I'll abide by his honorable surrender. Now, if you gentlemen are in agreement, you can further discuss the plans on your train trip. Sir, that's hard to believe. In fact, it's amazing. You're willing to kill a man in March, and in April you're willing to play games with him. We'll work it out together, sir. When are you leaving Washington? We're ready to leave tonight. You, Major? Ready now, sir. We can catch a wagon train due to leave Abilene in two weeks. I'll have to leave you before we reach Abilene. Make different connections to go south. Now, these are the orders for Colonel Marshall as to the use of the soldiers at San Arturo. My letter explains everything. I've requested him to give you complete cooperation, uh, barring any emergency, of course. Excuse me, Mr. President. Mrs. Lincoln is in the carriage waiting. Oh, oh, coming right away. I wish we could talk longer, but I promised to visit Ford's Theater this evening. Hope you enjoyed the show, sir. I'm sure I will. We'll make it, sir. You just watch. I'll watch. And I'll also pray. God grant you a safe journey. You'll be with us on the train for a few days, won't you? Yes, we'll ride into Kansas together. I'll leave you there. And I'll be away down in Texas long before you reach San Antonio. You'll need that extra time. I calculate I can pick up the men I need, drive the cattle up the border, and I'll meet you just west of Brownfield two weeks from tomorrow. We'll be there, but in case we're not. Don't even think that. You won't turn back, will you? No. But I'm only half of the team. You'd better show up. We'll be there. Everything you've done, Sergeant. 
Ah, oh, you owe me nothing, Rad. I'm always glad to help out. I swear I'll never drink water in Abilene again. I'd like to ruin my stomach. <laughs> And sir, you're right when you could have had whiskey. <laughs> oh, not me. I never drink when I got a big train load like this to bring through. Too much responsibility. You're a lot of nice people, aren't it? Come on, Jenny! Yeah, nice till they start talking war and taking sides. Ah, the war's over. It isn't over for them mixed up in the shooting, Mr. Lincoln, is it? Folks will be still fighting this war a hundred years from now. You know, it's hard to believe. Only a few days ago, I was talking to Mr. Lincoln. <laughs> I sure hope they catch and hang whoever assassinated him. Amen to that. Hold on! You don't have to baby me any further than this. All right, bud. I'll be in town in a few hours, and I'll bring the soldiers back long before they break. Carney's pass. Carney's pass. Hill. Kingston's coming back. Well, Bob will be in San Arturo around midnight. Start the escort out to meet us. Yes, sir. This time tomorrow evening, we'll all be home safe and sound. Everything's fine out there. And I wish you'd let me make the trip to town. You're a passenger. I gotta protect my passengers. Bob will get there all right. Brother Bob's a nice fella. Hey, mister, you gonna give me a ride in your wagon? What's the matter? Weren't you riding with those folks back there a ways? I'm gonna ask you again. You gonna give me a ride or do I have to walk? Whoa. Drop your bag. like the color of your uniform? You too? It <laughs> doesn't matter to me. Listen, I've been on three wagons since we left Abilene. They don't like me, I don't like them. And nosy questions? What am I, a freak? What is your name? Parker, Lee Parker. Does it make any difference to you? The light men. We had a Parker in town. Uh, Silas Parker. He ran the jail. He's my old man. You and uh, your father were on opposite sides, weren't you? What side were you on? I'm a businessman. I have a general store in San Arturo. I play both sides. That's nice. You're cowardly. If you don't like it, you can get off. I am not cowardly. I am permissible, better than the whole North and South put together. You talk too much. You don't like it? No. I don't like it out here. I go and sleep for a while. And do not look inside. I sleep for an hour, maybe two. <laughs> That's your wife? No. I met her in Abilene. She begged for a ride to San Arturo. Has friends there, she says. Better or for worse, the war is over. Never be over for me. Two years in their army prisons. They didn't have to take this on. They could have saved it. Yankees.
Maybe the Indians have given up attacking on this road. This close to town, we're more likely to run into Aranza and his raiders. Why don't that Mexican stay on his own side of the border? That critter don't believe in borders. He claims that Texas and New Mexico belongs to his country. Well, ain't there enough land around here for everybody? Not according to Joaquin Aranza. That fellow ahead, riding up front by the lead wagon. You mean Kingston? I hear he's going to use soldiers to bring up cattle from Texas. Southern cattle for the Yankees. Yeah. Southern cattle. Interesting, isn't it? What are we supposed to do? Lay down like dogs and give everything we own to the North? What's the matter with those Texans? People from Texas aren't laying down, nor a lot of others in this territory. Ah, you're just dreaming out loud. Lee surrendered. What can anyone do now? We're doing it. We? Just where do you stand, mister? Come and see me after you've been home with your family for a few days. I'll tell you then. Rosita, welcome home. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> he played the wrong card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> <wait> for you. Pianza. <laughs> <laughs> Querida mia, vengaci con tu papacito. Vengaci con tu mamacita. I wonder if you will ever get here. You take your time to come back to me, hey? You send me somewhere to find something for you. I have to take my time. But I find them. The guns with Calvin? See, si. I meet him in Evelyn that you tell me. I follow him like a kitten for one, two, three days. Then I make him like me. Like you tell me. See, si, see, si. it's all right, like I told you. Then what? He buy many guns, very secret. That can you tell me? Repeating rifles? See, si. Henry repeating rifles. How many? Where are they? They fire 10, 12 shots without a stop. Maybe more. I see him by them, but I could not count to right. I promise you we would have them. The best rifle in the country. The newest. Better than the army has. How many? I do not know. I could not count to right. But uh, perhaps 100. Oh, many boxes. Which is Calvin's wagon? It's number seven from the front. But you cannot go. No? I may ride to town to get the soldiers to meet wagons. The soldiers will be ready. We'll kill. <laughs> <laughs> Do not believe me? Look over there, Chiquita. See, si, that is him. The man who ride to town. There will be no soldiers. They ain't got guns on them wagons. She lies to me. She lies. <laughs> then ask him why he hurried ahead to get soldiers. To have him protect the wagon train from the Apaches. <laughs> <laughs> no guns on wagons. Just people. for the gun. You, uh, you don't have to. You have a deal with Calvin to share them. That was to get them this far. What has Calvin got to do with me now? With us? I do not need him anymore. Well, the soldiers will be expecting this wagon train to come out to meet it. Soldiers wait for a word. Bailey, you always afraid. Well, there's no need to go looking for a bullet. If bullet is for you, 
It will find you. <laughs> I go for only one wagon. I know the one. The new guns are for me. Understand? Everything else is for you. Horses, food, white women. Get to your people. We will meet at Carney's Pass. Now we can do something for my country. Viva Santana! Que viva! Viva Mexico! Que viva! Ah, I forget. I have nice fat present from that Calvin. <laughs> he will be very mad. The pig. Maybe I kill the pig. Get ready. We leave. Que viva Granza! Que viva! And no sign of the army. They'll show up any minute now. She stole all my money too with a rotten little garbage. Think she found the rifles? No, those guns are between you and me. You're here. Look, Mr. Calvin, you ain't making no mistake with me. I got lots of friends, north, south, and west. Before we're through. Texas will stretch all the way to California. We can't hold this off by ourselves. You get it. We've 
to the army yet. I don't know where he got him. Do you? Nope. Riding with him and yet you don't know anything about these. I told you I don't know nothing about him, didn't I? I'll get someone to drive the wagon. I don't need any help. But what about... I told you I don't need any help. I'll drive Calvin's wagon. You coming back? Not tonight. Not against these. I saw some whites. Does anybody here know or see Haranza? Most of us are strangers. They got Jennings, the wagon master. They got Red? Should have stayed with him. Don't start blaming yourself for anything. We're lucky you're alive. How many more? Can't tell yet. We got a lot of wounded. Bring the dead into town. We're moving on, O'Rock. Everybody on their wagon! We're moving on! One of them white raiders, Mr. King. He's still alive. All right, go! You didn't see Haranza leading those men, did you? Who? I don't know who you're talking about. I, I just brought my family out here from Michigan. This is the first renegade we've taken alive. Maybe we can get something out of him. Take him into town and be careful. I'll be careful. Come on! All right. I mean it. All right, but after he talks, he's mine. Come on, you. Let's get moving. Hurry it up. What good are you, soldiers? What are you here for? You ain't protecting them settlers. We were to get word if they were coming in. Perhaps the Apache should have sent you a letter. We've had patrols out. Out where? Well, the Indians ain't. Let the Southerners rust. That's your motto. You rebels never give up, do you? That's right. We ain't going. The war's over. You've lost. Get up, buddy. Come on, get up. Get out of here. Go kill yourself someplace else. You. What do we do with the wounded and the dead? Grab a burial detail. Get the wounded over to the jail and have them tended to. Hi, Kingston. Rough trip, huh? We got through. Chisholm, you and O'Rock came in on that wagon train? Why didn't you send us word? We sent Bob Jennings, Red's brother. Never got it. Neither did Red. Lied. Colonel, a whole lot's happened since we left Washington. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Lincoln is still alive. At least that's the way I always want to remember him. Here's his letter. It explains the job we have to do. No. Oh. We're to bring all the cattle we can from Texas to Kansas. What? Nothing to it. Read the letter. You think it was the Ronzo that raided you last night? Mostly Indians, but there were some whites. Oh, well, we managed to capture one of the wounded. He's over at the jail. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Remember Hank Calvin, the man around the store over on the other street? Yeah. Went to Abilene, two wagon trains back. He was killed last night. He was bringing in nearly a hundred of those Henry rifles with him. The new ones? The new repeat is the best. 
16 shots without reloading. They saved their lives. Where are they now? In this wagon. I'll take them over fast. Sergeant Rock. Colonel Marshall, sir. Glad to see you again, Sergeant. These all the wounded? Yes, sir. Except the prisoner, he's inside. What about the dead? We left them over on the hill. I've got a burial detail to dig in the grave for them. Hello, Miss Hello, Parker. Hello, Colonel. Your prisoner's still unconscious, Colonel. I'll see him in a minute. I'm so glad you're back. So am I, and all in one piece. Hello, Mr. Jim. Well, well. You are safe. So far. Very happy to see you. <laughs> This happened, Colonel. We watched him all the time. Yeah, you watched him so well that someone stuck a knife in his back to keep his mouth shut. You left him alone, Manuel. He's dead? But, but how could that be? Wouldn't be Hironza, would it? I do not know Hironza. I only hate him. Please, Senor Coronel. Hironza has not the real heart for my country. I believe he's a crazy man. About as crazy as a well-trained fox. Let's look at Calvin's wagon. Yeah. Come on, Jim. This town's like a stick of dynamite, just ready to be lit. Who is that, a Confederate general? He was on Calvin's wagon, drove it in for me. He had a chip on his shoulder then, and I guess it's still there. A Confederate on Calvin's wagon with the new guns? You'll have a lot of detail. Do you take possession of those repeating rifles? Me? Well, no, sir. There was Calvin's property. I put his wagon over behind his door. Well, I thought that'd be the right thing. Well, to... it wasn't. Get that body out of there. Yes, Not a sign of him. This I don't understand. You will if they're ever turned against us. That one arm kid. With a chip on his shoulder, what do you think he'll tell you? Pardon me, Colonel. Did you want something else from my wagon? Your wagon? Hank Calvin was my partner. I put up half the money. And I expect you to return the repeating rifles, Colonel. You expect me to what? I'm here looking for those rifles. Where are they? I don't know. Your men moved them last. You better find them. They're mine. Bought and paid for. We'll talk to you later. You certainly will. You better let me handle this. Why? How far do you think that uniform will get you with that boy? I don't know how far any of us are going to get around here unless we locate those guns. By now, probably every southern hothead has one hit. I'll wait for you at headquarters. Read Mr. Lincoln's letter. The Rock and I are leaving here tonight. Tonight? You can't I'll leave. question the boy, but finding the rifles is your problem. I've got a bigger one with the cattle. Anyway, Lee's back home, Eddie. Lee's back home. What'd you do with those rifles? What I do with them, I left them in a wagon. You're lying. Wait a minute. Nothing to say. Jim. He's my brother. Your brother? He's been gone four years. I should have told you. Why didn't you tell him? Were you afraid you'd lose him? You're ashamed because I fought for what I believed in? You're ashamed because I rotted in his prisons? You Yankees did this to me. Aren't you satisfied yet? Well, get your hate, Lee. The war is over. You're home now. Son, you don't believe that the South is lost. Get you your hands on me. 
Can't we talk about this later? I'm sure the boy will... Stop defending me. Stop picking on me. Look, 100 Henry Repeater rifles in Calvin's wagon. You drove that wagon here and you were the last one to be seen with the wagon. Now, where are the rifles? Leave me alone. Leave me alone, will you? Lee, if you know where they are, you should tell him. What, does my whole family turn Yankee? Listen, I don't know where they are, but if they can be used to run you Yankees out of this town, then I'll die happy. I'll have to report this to the colonel. Anne O'Rourke and I are leaving tonight for Texas to bring some cattle back. Tonight? But, Jim, you just got here. I'll see you later. these suggestions, but I've got miles and miles of territory to police with only 300 troops. I'm really worried about who's got those rifles. We could lock up everywhere we suspect. The jail won't be large enough. No, Jim, I won't move out with my soldiers until they're found. Then you are turning down, Mr. Lincoln. What else can I do? His letter allows me to use my own judgment in case of an emergency. This town is it. The Civil War is still hot right here. You don't need the whole troop. I'm not going to move out with you and come back and find half the people around here slaughtered. All right, you can have 75 men. Well, 75 is 75. Yes, sir. We'll need your best riders and some of the next cowboys that you... Yes, sir. 75 men. Someday it's going to be wonderful just to be able to sit back in a rocking chair and not have to worry about Apaches, patrols, cattle, and runs it. Then, Sergeant Fetterman, and if we leave after dark, I can keep my Texas border date right on time. My men will be ready. Fetterman, I want you to detach 75 men from regular duty assigned to Mr. Kingston. Good riders, men who can handle cattle. Did you say cattle, sir? Men leave for Texas tonight. Also wish you extra arms, provision. Dispatch riders just brought this. We've been riding all night. No one is going to like this. Bad news for you, too, Jim. Orders to abandon San Arturo Post immediately. Immediately, sir? Within an hour upon receipt of these orders. Why? Where? We're moving to the Mexican border. There's rioting and looting going on down there. March out with your guns loaded. Well, we'll have action, sir. We'll have action here when we pull out. Mexican border, huh? Yes, our destination is to be kept secret. But if anyone asks, we may be back any day. Yes, sir. Fetterman, forget about assigning those men to Mr. King. Yes, sir. But I need them, Colonel. And you said you wouldn't leave this place unprotected. I don't want to, but I can't disobey these orders. But you already have orders. And Mr. Lincoln's own handwriting. Orders from the Secretary of War, Mr. Kingston. Only two minutes old to me, but they were started on their way the day before yesterday. I can't fight a live Secretary of War with a dead president's letter. Sorry, Jim. I've got the pack. Can you spare me 50? 30? 20 men? Do you want me to get shot? The whole troop moves out. What about me, sir? Now, wait a minute. You haven't arrived here yet. He's on special leave for a special job. Well, I guess I can spare a rock. I haven't seen him yet, neither of you. Thanks. Jim, I can't help it. What are you going to do? I'm sorry, sir. I haven't arrived here yet. And I've got to keep my emergency plans a secret. Come on, Jim. Oh. Why don't you find out about the guns? I heard no talk about them. Stop. I finished Bailey for you, didn't I? I don't care about Bailey. What'd he do to hurt me? 
Tell them what I look like? You think they come and get me? <laughs> <laughs> we get the new gun. We get the town. We get the whole territory. Can you hold it? Nobody lives except Hironza wants them to live. No north. No south. Viva! Joaquin, there was a kid in the wagon with Kelvin. Yeah, I saw him. Only one arm. Maybe he takes the rifles. Oh, how could he? Wait. Maybe he could. Only one arm, yet he was driving. He was driving? Yeah. All alone. We go find the kid. Please. That is good for us. You go into town, find the keys. You find the guns, come back here, we wait. You think I find the guns just like that? I don't care how, querida mia, but find them. See? Not now. Go tonight when it is dark, little one. About ready, Tim? About ready. You took so long, I thought you was a marrying the girl. I wish I could. That might be one sure way of making a widow out of her after this trip. <laughs> Tim. Yeah? I'm not going with you. What? There's no sense in bringing cattle to a town that's liable to be taken over. There's not going to be any town when we get here. You can reach McGuire as easily as both of us. If there's going to be trouble, why don't I stay and you go on? No, it's got to be the other way around. You keep our Texas border date with McGuire as we promised, just outside of Brownfield, then start right back. I need a couple more hours here and I'll follow. Good luck. Good luck? Will you keep my share? You're going to need it worse than me. I'll be along. I'll be watching for you. Come on, boy. Find Lee? No. He may be up in the hills. It's awful quiet in town. Everybody's disappeared like rats in a hole. I found about 20 extra men we can rely on. That won't be enough. Senores, I just see some men go over to Traeger's table one at a time. Kelvin's partner. Traeger's been trying to organize this town for the south. They're so quiet, they sneak along like thieves. Let's get over there. Yeah. Okay, we're waiting for those rifles. Now, where are they? You'll get them, but don't go shouting about it. Just because the army left town, don't get the idea we're not going to have a fight. Kingston is out there with plenty of support. He's the first one I'm going to get. There's one thing, sure. They're not going to drive any cattle through this town. I just want to feel one of those repeaters right here in my hands. Traeger hit him. I drove him out here if it wasn't for Traeger. The army searched everywhere. Everywhere but where we buried them. 
You got him buried. And where do you suppose? The graveyard? Nope. You'll never guess. We got him buried right... Well, you'll never find them. Why don't you stop fighting me? Fight Aranza. Are all of you people blind? Just get out of town. We'll deal with Aranza. You mean he'll deal with you? He's out there right now, backed by his Apaches. Waiting for us to kill each other off. So that he can come in here and get the guns and everything else he wants. We know what we're doing. Do you? Do you realize you're setting us up to kill off half the people in town? No, because you won't talk. I'll make him talk. Big hero, aren't you? <laughs> this is no time to be soft. We'll kill him if we have to. Gonna hurt him anymore. And dump the guns. All of you. The horse is outside. Go on, son. Get out of town. You're wrong on what you're doing, but they're not gonna hurt you anymore. Keep him here. He's our only chance. Go on. There's a horse outside. Hurry. And nobody's going after him. When it's time, you can do what you want to to me. But you're not gonna hurt my boy anymore. You deserve whatever happens now. Senor Lee, I see, I hear everything. I can help you. What are you doing here? I come from Hironza. Hironza? You have no time now. Come with me. You ran out on Calvin. See, si, and I know all about the guns. But now I am your friend. It is good. You come with me. All right. Just stay right where you are. A little longer. That shot. Too late. You'll never catch him in the dark. They were beating Lee and I let him go. Beating him? Yes, they'd have killed him. You let them beat Lee? Forget he's your brother, Ann. He's the only one who could tell us where those rifles are and he wouldn't talk. You just have to keep searching. Keep searching. What? What's it all for? Friend against friend. What? What have we been doing? Can we have our guns back? Come morning, I'm riding out to meet the cattle and help bring them through. You'll get your guns then. Maybe we'd all better start looking for them rifles. Together. Yes. Maybe we'd better. Together. Not a sign of them. Guns here. Place to look. 
There are many men in the town. Maybe they find the guns. You think they'd do this to me if they know where they are? I'm the only one that knows. So you come to tell me? I didn't come to tell you. I was brought here. Why should I tell you? Because I am a friend of the South. <laughs> Calvin was Southern. You knew he was bringing in rifles. You still attacked a wagon train. I didn't know Calvin was there. All I do is try to help the Apaches. They are my friends. With those rifles, I can do a lot for your side. More than you alone. You need me. And maybe the wrong people find the guns. Maybe you're right. Anyway, I don't have much of a choice right now. Then we go together to town? All right, I'll show you where the rifles are if you promise me two things. Number one, you stop the cattle drive. Coming from where? I did not know. They're bringing in a lot of southern cattle from Texas to feed the Yankees. They mustn't get through. No, that would be bad for us. Well, can you do anything about it? You've got a lot of men here. Chandler. Yeah. I can do very good. Where do you want my friends, the Apaches, to stop the cattle? Will they? If I say so. All right, you stop them right where they raided the wagon train. Carney's Pass, tomorrow afternoon. You heard? Yeah. Carney's Pass. Go to Chief Apaho. Tell him soldiers gone from San Arturo. Tell him I say all cattle are for Apache people. Go now. Make no mistake. Now, what is the other promise? about a lot of southerners still in town. I saw what happened. I know they're going to be unarmed. I don't want you to shoot at them. Of course not. That is easy promise. They are all my friends. My father and my sister. They will be safe with Gironta. You show your father to me. And your sister too. I go too? You stay here. We be back. We got to get into town quietly. Any luck? Nothing. Fine king. I'll never understand how they could disappear like this. I'm ready to give up. They could be out of town, you know. How could they? Not a wagon left before we started searching. We've been through and under everything. We searched the whole town, I think. They've got to be somewhere. They didn't have much time to hide. Maybe inside Calvin's store. You torn the place apart. Well, they too smart for us. All right, fellas, call it out. And thanks. say anything. I know. Silly, wasn't it? How's your father? He won't talk. Nothing. He knows what he's done. I wish I could help you. I wish somebody could. Aranda's bound to know the Army's guns. Your brother out there somewhere and the rifle's still here. Anything can happen. This is Calvin's wagon. Thank you. 
say you said you wouldn't. Why do I care? I kill all of them. Good friend. 
make big presents. Many cattle come. My people, hungry. White men, take all cattle. All? Every. Where this be? Carney's path. Go now. Hurry. You ride with us. I ride with you. Up the hole. That's it. Hold Both of you. He had some trouble at Santa Toro. That's over with now, but Aranza got word to the Apaches about the cattle. He did. With this dust, they can't miss it. Well, keep right on moving. You better send a couple of riders there to scout. Too late for that. Look over here. Right the right flank. Keep the cattle from scattering.
good trick when it works. Let's hope they don't come back. I don't think they will. It's likely, not with their chief dead. Well, let's get organized and move on. Right into town. We're not even stopping for chow. Thank you. 